He's our next guest. He's going to join us very soon at the table. He's a four-time Oscar nominee. Willem Dafoe is his name. He has more than 140 screen credits, including familiar movies like We Remember Platoon, uh -huh. At Eternity's Gate, yep. Spider-Man, mm -hmm. No Way Home. We all remember these movies. His new project is the psychological drama. It's called Inside. So Defoe stars as Nemo, an art thief who finds himself in a fight for survival after break-in goes bad, and then he's trapped in the Manhattan penthouse. Yikes. In this preview, Nemo befriends a pigeon outside the window and asks it to find him some help. <laughs> Tell him that I'm stuck here. No one's come. Do that for me. <laughs> Nobody here but us pigeons. Right? 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 This Four to movie force. is so yeah, good. Me. Willem Dafoe is with us first on CBS Mornings. It's so good to have you in the studio at the table. I'll just say what Brian, we, you met Brian earlier, our stage manager. He said, Willem Dafoe is just good in everything. He really is. Isn't that good? Thank You're just you. good in everything. Thank you, Brian. Brian, that was Brian who said it. Willem <laughs> Dafoe, <laughs> he's just good in everything. So let's talk about Inside, because number one, you're in every single scene in this movie. Yeah. Uh, you're by yourself in this movie. Yeah. So you read the script and you think, I got to do this. What attracted you to this? Uh, basic premise. I, I really liked it. And I knew certain things like we were going to shoot in chronological order. That's unusual, shooting in chronological it order. It is. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, like, you know, when you have an expansive role, you can really participate in making the movie on the day. Sometimes when you have a, a, a shorter role or a little character role, you have to serve a function yeah but this you really can sit in it and you can go deep but how do you even prepare though Willem when you're it's just you yourself and you this was odd you don't because the story really starts out with uh, the guy being trapped in there and that's where the story starts and it doesn't really matter where he was before at least I didn't feel the need uh -huh. to create a backstory uh -huh. because he's dealing with stuff immediately. And the character's really revealed through yes. what happens to him. Yeah, so we should set up, he goes to rob this penthouse of artwork. Right. The, the system goes uh, haywire, and you're literally trapped. Trapped. The computer in. doesn't work, the door doesn't work, the phone doesn't work, there's no electricity, there's no water, there's no food, and, and it's just you in this gorgeous and apartment. And nobody's gorgeous. coming. And nobody, yeah, and nobody's coming. Because the nobody's alarm coming. system didn't alert them. Yes, yes, yes. So it's... Uh, Challenging, yes. so it becomes a little bit of a game too, also for the audience because you're trying to figure out how to overcome these obstacles. I honestly so, didn't know how it was going to end either. I so didn't know. Psychologically, I mean, you're shooting in chronological order, and, yeah. and your character goes slowly, somewhat uh, deteriorates. Let's yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. Well, he goes inside. <laughs> he goes inside. He goes inside. <laughs> he goes. Uh, he inside. starts to ask himself certain questions about his uh, about life. Yeah, about life. Yes. What was it like doing that? I mean, and this is a uh, pleasure. <laughs> you know. Um, it was, it was, it's a difficult movie to do, but a fun movie to do. And, uh, something about once you, the thing takes a rhythm, it gets a, a it has a rhythm of its own and it just propels you. Yeah. And, uh, you show up every day, you enter this mono locale, uh, there's no natural light, you time gets spent, you're really there with problems and actions and these kind of meditations that naturally yeah. spring out of his situation. Mm -hmm. So um, you problem solve as an actor, you problem solve to see, uh, you know, work with the director and everyone else to find the best shots and all that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. And then you just uh, do, you of do, course. you do, you do, and then it works on you. And then you have an experience that hopefully is transparent enough that the audience is with you and participate. I think okay. you just channel your inner Willem Dafoe and say, I can, I can, <laughs> I do, can do it. Yes. Um, okay, a few know. things. One, yeah. that's a glorious mustache. Uh, uh, you know what? 
This is for something else. I would never wear this for life. Really? Uh, oh, it's for I what I'm it's shooting a, now. Okay, 100 oh. back in style. Yeah. 100. It looks good on. I, I look like look Joe Stalin. No, you look like a hot dealer. <laughs> That's, a That's a compliment. Um, second thing, the fact that it is just you in this movie shows how extremely talented you are. You yes. are one of the yes, most yes. versatile talents in the business. Yes. You guys are embarrassing. No, no we're, we're being honest. With that. We're all Wait, Would you rather we Thank say you. you suck? Right. No, no, keep it coming. And last. <laughs> Lastly, um, the title of the movie, Inside, yeah. it yeah. can be interpreted uh, many different ways as you watch this movie. And like you said, the character goes kind of inside himself. One, what did you take away after completing this project? Because I always feel like actors learn a little bit more about themselves after they're done. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, it's interesting because in the, uh, in the process of, of the, the narrative arc, you start to ask your questions about your relationship to the dark side of luxury, mm. to uh, mm. to art, mm. to what do you need in this life? What's mm. what's most important? Uh, and, and because I I start to interact with the art, there's lots of interesting questions that uh, what is the function of art? Is it useless? Uh, is it useful? Mm. Uh, can it elevate things? And it's not academic. These these things kind of happen very naturally. And the thing that I like is. It really is a movie that has a strong action line to it, you know, yeah. as a thriller. But at the same time, there's also these meditative things that come up. Yeah. And the audience, they're going to bring their questions to of it. Of course. Their interpretations. And I think this will yep. evoke um, certain things in them. So we'll see. Maybe I'm uh, just being optimistic, but I think it's strong and it's... Uh, it's, it is. It's, it's very unusual. Can, unusual. Can I just say movie. we're glad you're here and we can't wait to see you in Spider-Man again? Okay, Can I just well, say that? whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like an endorsement. No, no, no. No, listen, listen. I, I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll transfer. I don't okay. know how to... If the money's know. right, I'll be there. <laughs> okay, all right. Inside will be in theaters. Don't work like that. <laughs> Inside will be in theaters everywhere on March 17th for the great Willem Dafoe. Thanks a lot. <laughs>